Programmer.com. So I'm in Italy. I'm in Rome. Just finished my workout. Just finished a nice run here, and I'm heading back. I'm gonna go check out the Colosseum today. That'll be pretty cool. Anyway, I thought I'd do a quick book review uh, since I just finished a book here. I need to get caught up on it. I am still getting through books while I'm traveling, although it's a little bit hard to uh, to find the time. But while I'm working out, I uh, definitely listen to audiobooks. If you want to check it out, check out my playlist of all the book reviews I've done. Uh, one reason why you might want to check that out if you're new to this channel is because I sort of I only read books that have been highly recommended that uh, that are probably already the best of the best and then I give you sort of my opinion on them not really a summary in, in most cases just kind of what I think as I read the book and so you can sort of filter it even better so that you don't have to waste your time you don't have to read as many books as me to get the value out of that many books so that's my little my little gift to you so I did this, read this book, or listened to the audio version of The Magic Power of Tidying Up, which is an interesting book I've been wanting to uh, check out for a long time. It's, uh, it's written by this uh, Japanese woman, it's a very popular book in Japan, and she's basically a tidying up consultant. And it's, uh, it's really interesting. I, I saw it on a Kindle deal, or, or audiobook deal, and I was like, okay, well, fine. It's a short book, I might as well grab it, might as well listen to it. It only took me like one run to uh, to listen through the entire thing at uh, 3x speed and it was it was good it was a real good book it's funny because 90% of it was something I already kind of discovered on my own as I had be gone through the phase of becoming a minimalist and at first I was trying to organize things and be super organized because by nature I'm very unorganized I'm very lazy and unorganized so I sort of went the other way to develop that and so I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to, to organize things and uh, and categorize things and then what I ended up coming to was the idea that just get rid of stuff <laughs> The more stuff you get rid of uh, the less stuff you have to organize and the better off that you are in general I'm gonna see how i um, make sure I'm turning on the right street here. So So yeah, so that's kind of the basis of the book I mean it goes into some detail about how to get rid of things what order to sort them and there's there's a few good tips in here about how to fold <laughs> how to how to store things how to fold clothes she basically recommends basically just getting rid of as much as possible and that makes it simple very simple to tidy up to organize things and then to forget organizers and complex organizing systems and there's there a couple tips that I got from it one of them was that she said never to stack anything to basically like when you fold your clothes and stuff put them in the drawer if you can imagine uh, horizontally so you'd fold them so that you'd be able to see each one of them and you know from from back to front as opposed to stacking them up which uh, which makes a lot of sense uh, to not hang things as much which I'm guilty of quite a bit and then some just some interesting things like in the kitchen and bathroom to like shower to put away the soap and and stuff uh, immediately so and not to leave it out. I mean, there's a lot of it's a sort of a, a philosophy as well as strategy, the book itself. So, uh, pretty good book. I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, a lot of what was in the book was something I already kind of discovered. I already started getting rid of stuff on my own and realized how uh, important it is. And, and it sort of, I did a video about like, uh, uh, you can check out here about sort of my change from minimalism to really just keeping high value things, right? Uh, things that bring me joy in life. And that's what she talks about. That's kind of the whole basis of the book is essentially this. If I could sum summarize the whole book, it'd be basically this, that you need to only keep the things and only have things that bring you uh, value in, in life. And so get rid of everything else that's not because it's contributing. If it's not ad adding value, it's probably doing the opposite. And it's just making mental clutter and you'll feel better by doing that whole thing. So anyway, that's all I got for you today. Go check it out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button down below and click the bell to make sure you don't miss any of the videos I'm doing. I'll be in Rome for uh, another week and then I'll be heading to uh, Cinque Terre and Venice and for Lawrence so uh, talk to you next time take care